Hello Taurus, welcome to your What You Need to Know Today reading. Let's go ahead and find out what Taurus needs to know today. What does Taurus need to know today? And Taurus, if you like it, please like it. And if you'd like to support my channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate that so much. I'm not focusing on love today. I'm not focusing on career. I'm just focusing on what you need to know today. What does Taurus need to know today, please, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know today? Thank you. We have rebirth. Ooh. Ah, so this is something either coming back. It was possibly something that you didn't want to deal with in the past. And now it's back. Um, and... Ah... And you decide not to go forward with it. You have your own point of view. Very nice. You have your own vision. Transformation and miracles. Wow, this is beautiful. You're a changed person, Taurus. You're a changed person and you're doing it for yourself. Wonderful. This cycle has completed and now you're moving on to yourself this is very liberating uh, for the masculine and the feminine watching this this is wonderful this is all about maybe someone who things didn't work out with in the past or perhaps they you know were constantly promising they'll you know move forward with you or whatever they were saying or or not doing right um it just was a mismatch and now they're possibly thinking i'm going to come back uh, but things have changed you've changed you're a completely different person now you have your own vision your vision is no longer to do with them has any part of them in your future you're, you're a changed person you've completed that cycle you've worked really hard on yourself and now miracles the universe is really proud of you you've got another seven here indicating that yes it may be challenging to even say no or to uh, i don't know once where you would have jumped at the chance where you would have been so happy that this person reached out or this person says what they're saying now you would have just been like all over it now you're like really well I've got a completely different vision now like I've got my own plans I've got things that I've got to do I've got to go to the gym I've got to go um, you know to uni or I've got to you know I've got work or I've got to hang out with my friends or you know I've got things that I need to do and it's for myself miracles it might be something maybe 10 months ago or a year ago or two years ago you would have jumped at the chance but you're a completely different person now and this may it's like turning the tables like they're probably looking at you going really really are you joking me are you saying no to me uh, and you're exactly saying no to them it may be hard because they're both a challenge it's a challenge that they're awakening and it's a challenge that you've changed but it's the best thing for you you're over this or possibly not completely emotionally but mentally you've done the work spiritually you've done the work or doing the work releasing those ties um, to whatever this is it doesn't have to be love because I know a lot of you are writing saying why am I always focusing on love I'm just telling you the messages that are coming out for the I guess uh I don't know what what would you call it the the mass the the greatest audience I guess the biggest audience that are being called to my videos that is what spirit is trying to you know say um, so I guess um, I'm just 
just a vessel i'm i'm just voicing what spirit wants to tell you there is a challenging situation upcoming uh, although you've moved on you've got a different vision this could be an employer could be a group of friends could be uh, a family member you know any situation is resurrecting coming back a rebirth you know uh, isis was um very magical she could do necromancy uh, which is quite an, an a, a phenomenal uh, gift to be able to do and isis is very known for that um it, it's about rebirth coming back someone is being risen kind of judgment um and lilith is very independent she is also she's actually the first wife of adam uh and um you know she was very much for herself i am here for me i am beautiful i am you know i am you know much like my t-shirt says in my brand i am the one is a lilith mentality uh for the men and the women you know not just exclusively feminine it is for the male and female you are the one and we are all the one okay because there is no one like you uh, and lilith is here to express that you are the one and you are independent and there is no one like you and that is rising above what was once i need you i want you i can't go on without you which is where this mentality is coming from well not isis because isis is a goddess she is grand in her own right although just i guess the rebirth of who or what is re-emerging it could be you going through photos and going wow i remember this person and i remember how i felt with them but now i'm a completely different person transformation you've done the inner work you've completely transformed your mentality how you see yourself how you view your future how you view the world around you your perception you've done the shadow work you've worked with your inner demon saying no a demon be gone kind of like a um, recent scorpio video that i did it's all about releasing all that that no longer serves that no longer fulfills that no longer belongs in your life and it's the best thing to remove that and here we have miracles miracles isn't that a beautiful word and beautiful vibration it is mary the mother of jesus in the biblical sense and it is all about um i guess uh, what we don't expect within ourselves and within the world around us our environment and the people it is how they see us they see us as something or someone that we we uh i guess they're not used to seeing uh it, it's a completely different person we're totally about ourselves and not in an ego way in uh i deserve this as much as the next person i've done my work i've worked for this this is my vision this is who i am this is my right and it's it's liberating yourself transforming and the world around you can see that and they're proud of you they're so happy that you've risen above and that you've come to a really good place in life all right so let's keep going and find out what our spirit would like to say to my taurus what would you like to say we have financial constraints so it could be to do with finances could be to do with five of pentacles feeling left out beautiful and we're walking away from that that's why you're liberated that's why you're rising above you are the phoenix rising you are a completely different person now beautiful it was a case of feeling left out whether it was financially left out whether it was emotionally spiritually why can't i connect to the divine or why can i have this person or why am i not doing well financially obviously there is covid and we're all 
kind of in the same boat we're all feeling it we're all going through it and I know there's a lot of you who are asking me to do readings to do with that and so this could be a message for you it is about walking away from the lack mentality looking around you um, and seeing what you do have so that the universe can continue matching what you do have and multiplying that and I know that it's no consolation right now because really nothing anyone can say will make that better unless they can say here's a million dollars or ten thousand dollars in your account um, that there is nothing anyone can say right now and my heart goes out to each and every one of you honestly and truly you are in my prayers and I do send angels of abundance and angels of comfort and angels of love to all of you because we all deserve that and we all have a right much like Lilith here is telling us, we all have a right. Spirit is saying, pinpointing specifically, see how financial constraints is with the four. The four is rebuilding and restructuring. It is time to rebuild and restructure and raise ourselves up. This is the nine indicating um, other alternatively, it, if we stay behind the fence with the mentality of I don't have, uh, you're kind of uh, creating a barrier around what the universe could possibly give you. It's about opening your mind. And honestly, right now, you know, this is messages, but I know that right now there is really no consolation besides comforting words and so that is what I am attempting to give you comforting words and I guess sending you energies that will give you that comfort if you are receptive and allow them in allow Archangel Michael allow Archangel Raphael allow the angels of abundance to surround you allow them open your heart open your mind open your spirit to these energies archangel michael is also the guardian of the root chakra which is our material realm allow archangel michael to continue to cleanse your root chakra and to ground you and to bring it into the material um, and and to bring more towards you so that yeah we're not in the lack consciousness allow i guess yourself to rebuild from COVID and really it is when the time is right when the time is right right now we're all in isolation all in healing mode so we need to heal and allow that and be patient for I guess the rebuilding and to walk away from COVID with a new um, perception vision um, and I guess lifestyle, our new normal is not going to be what we once knew as normal. It is completely a different normal. And yeah, COVID has basically turned the world around, hasn't it? And so my heart does go out to each and every one of you. And this is specifically a message to those of you who are saying, why am I always doing love readings? It is not all about love, but love is the highest vibration and that may be why that is my biggest message to all of you although um, yeah I, I do like to target different areas of life that is why I do for my top three viewers and Taurus you guys are my champions and rock stars um, what you need to know today so what you need to know today is that you're rising above you're rising above, miracles are about to happen, the world is shining ab above you and, and saying, well done Taurus, you've done the inner work and you've released yourself from what didn't serve you. Isis is a beautiful energy and there is nothing wrong, sometimes it is so welcome that something comes back, a past love that we really want to reunite with that we've never forgotten or, you know, a, a job opportunity that will help us move forward. Although the structure of this reading is telling me 
the um, Isis being the first card, meaning this is what spirit wants you to see. Something is returning, whether it's um, a memory, somebody texting you from the past or, you know, seeing someone randomly. It's like, wow, I haven't seen you in years or months. And I'm, and they might be saying, I missed you. And really in your heart of hearts, you miss them too. Um, but independence is telling me there is a separation between that and you. You have now um, created a, a form of separation and by being independent, by being, I guess, not rebellious, but um, healing and um, maybe even just saying it's about me now because I'm not going to uh, fulfill someone's needs that doesn't make me feel good as well. I'm not going to be there for someone. I'm not going to um, extend myself. I need someone to meet me in the middle. And that is where equality begins and liberation. Transformation, you've done the shadow work, miracles. Everyone is saying, well, Taurus, accolades to you because you've done so well. Walking away from this mentality because we're rebuilding. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Um, it's a powerful message to each and every one of you. And um, if you'd like a personal reading, a mini just like this is $40. You can check that out at the blog link in the description box below and reach out to me anytime at the email address. I send you love always. Bye for now.